Uh, first and foremost, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha, Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom, me in peace, and to the elect. We're going to touch on the spiritual warfare, good warfare. But first, I want to try and find if I can find this and go with it. If not, I'll hit somewhere else. Right. Right, you, no, we'll just pick it up right now. Just for sure. Right, so this is Ephesians chapter 6. We'll start verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of power that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle, right, so we wrestle, Greco Roman, you know, we shoot for the double, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers and against so like, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places right we're not going to wear we're not going to be like mr beacon hakar and put on a, a little ephod of bulletproof because what is that what are we meant to have upon right ephesians 6 and 13 wherefore take unto you the whole armor of yahweh by hasham yahweh shai that you may be able to withstand in the evil day having done all to stand Stand therefore, having you learned your loins, get about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. All right, not a um, a Teflon little thing. I'm not. I'm not saying if you're in a, I know a job. <laughs> Primarily, don't be in that. You know, don't be in the army. That's not a good idea. But if you're in that, or if you work on a, if you're a um, a builder, a plumber, right? And I'm not saying don't have a hard hat on. If you're going out there professing this is the faith, and you have to wear some some instrument of um. Well, you, that's, a, that's, a, that's a garment of war, man. And not a, not a garment as in like a garment. And like a garment of war. Like you're actually trying to you know, get hit. And why would you... Surely the Lord... What does it say about that? And I remember a video was uploaded by Sakari saying, conduct yourself correct at camp or this might happen. And then an example. Well, if you correct, if conducting yourself correctly... Right, this is Psalm 34 and 7. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So, so if you truly believe that that is, the, that, that is to take place, then, then what have you got to fear? Right, F Ephesians, and I've gone to Philippians, but actually. Ephesians 6.12 again, no, 6.13, no, 6.14. Stand therefore having your loins, get about with truth, and having on the bre breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right, and what does it say? It says... Although we're in a spiritual warfare, you know, if possible, this is Romans 12 and 18. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. So, so that's a, a, a quote of wisdom, to live peaceably among all men. You know, the vengeance is whose? Yahweh Baha Sham Yahweh Shai's. Uh, Romans 12 and... Yeah, that's fucking annoying. You know, it's the will of the Lord ultimately. So I've just, you know, we've been going for a bit. And it's, it's cut off after three minutes. Anyway, right, so I don't know what I've said on the off camera or on camera. Stra strategy, strategist, if you're a strategist, you're a military commander. You know, the word for war, the word for soldier goes back to strategeo, strategi, everything like that. St. Matthew 10 and 16, and this is the application, you know, ap applying the strategies. I'll stand here so I can see if it goes on. Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right, and a dove, you never seen a dove walk up to anything and start trying to interact and, pro not interact, but provoke it. You, know, you don't see that. A sheep doesn't go up to a wolf and go, What are you, wolf? This is the one. <laughs> Don't do that. Right, it's humble. Like it says, humble. That's not, not like it says. Like it says, he's a lamb. Right, that's humble. Sheep, a lamb, they're humble, humble animals. Right, so 2 Timothy 2, starting at 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him, who have chosen him to be a soldier. Right, what does it say? It says, we do have weapons of warfare, but they're not carnal. Right, but they're mighty through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it proves we do have weapons. 
Hebrews 4 and 12, it says the word is sharp, it's a sharp, sharp sword. Again, if I'm repeating myself, like it's already on video, then forgive me. But Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And we'll get Ephesians, I don't, like I said, I don't know what's been on camera. Ephesians 6 and 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places that's a, and that's a good fight and it says I, what, what's that? I think it is in Timothy I don't know where it is but the Paul said he, he fought the good fight and here it says right, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 For, for power hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind and these it's these scripts you know, having faith in these scripts that brings us that we don't have just power by ourselves what was that I wanted Peter so second Peter and first Peter selected Like Timothy, Timothy. Right, right, so again or not again, depending on what recorded. Second Timothy. So like that. No, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I just, where have I just read from? Salakia. Oh yeah, yeah. Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahushai Hamashah. No man that warreth. All right, and that word for soldier, that word for warreth. They both go back to the same word, strategia, to be a strategist. So no man that is a strategist, a strategist. Entangleth himself with the affairs of this work, this life, right? So, and I was about to say, is this world, right? You're not in engaged. And of course, you're engaged. You, know, you have to buy, you have to sell, you have to make your make business in that sense, be able to provide you know, for yourself, for your family, or whatever your setup is. But ultimately, you, you use the world, you don't abuse the world. It says, No man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Who chose you? Right, the Father. How was Shai's father? Our father. Abanawa. We get this in John, St. John 6 and 60. No, what is it? Um, 6 and 44. It says, No man can come to me, and this is red letter, which means what is Yahweh Shai's word. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. And I'll raise him up at the last day. I right, see so even even that, you know, a bird doesn't fall to the fall to the floor unless it's sanctioned and ordained of the heavenly Father. Again, what else does it talk about? The warfare. There's one in. Um, you get this, First Corinthians two and fourteen. But the natural man, right? So if you so focus on the gun, you know, the the blade, the all of these. Uh, physical instruments the physical instrument we should be dealing with is the word and the word although we've got it in physical print there's a spiritual